Hi Taurus, so I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We'll see the big ideas or awareness for the week. We'll get some guidance, look at possible outcomes, and we'll get additional information from the Oracle cards. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, we begin with Seven of Wands. With Wands, we're talking about Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the fire, fire within the Wands, which is this ambition and willpower and drive and following really your enthusiasms or your passions. And so we, here we see this fella wielding the wand here defensively or maybe proactively. He may be pushing against the people below. He's elevated. He has the position. This is a matter of standing your ground, speaking your truth, defending your actions, your beliefs. And um, regardless of you know, the time or the place, you're going to be ready to defend. And you can notice the different booties here. So it's like sometimes uh, life isn't really neat and orderly. And we have to be ready at, um, at any moment to protect ourselves. And so this is a week where you may have to stand your ground, stand for what you believe in or what you've been up to lately, whether you're related to work or to relationships, it's holding your ground, standing, literally standing your ground. And with this as an awareness for the week, here we have the Hierophant Major Arcana. So the Hierophant is symbolic of the conventions, the traditions, the institutions of society, religion, education, certain professions, paths that we're expected to take, the pressures that go with them. This goes to the collective thinking that when you join a group, if you're involved with a religion, more than likely you follow their dogma or uh, you know, their belief system as part of the group. So when we see the Hierophant, there's a sense here that you may be having to stand your own ground with respect to an institution or group or tradition. You know, this encompasses marriages and, uh, you know, all graduations, getting a degree, all the things that we tend to think we need to do in life. So the Hierophant, you see these disciples here, he's the expert, he's the one shepherding and helping the collective thinking. So this could be a week where you are maybe questioning this system, you may be questioning an expected path, you may be wanting to break away from traditions, you may be having to deal with traditions. For some of you, you know, you may be uh, taking uh, grad exams to get to grad school or to get into law school. Others may be planning marriages or, uh, you know, thinking of having children and, and taking them through the religious process. So this is about following traditions. So your awareness for the week are the, the uh, traditions that impact your life and the conventions that impact your life. Let's see if we have any more information from the cards that are going to tie into the Hierophant here. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. I think the Three of Wands is a really powerful card. Here's this man standing out, looking out at the horizon. He's leaning on the wands, looks like a portal, a gateway. And he's thinking about what's next. What am I going to do? What am I going to do to explore? Am I traveling? Am I building a new enterprise? Am I building a new business? Am I building a new relationship? It's the, 
it's the movement into manifestation and creation that's really starting to tie things down, visualizing it, planning it, thinking that it may happen. So in terms of uh, society in this, you may be you may be going out on your own and doing something, or you may be following a more traditional role. But this is your desire. You're hoping to start something new and to create something new. Something that's exciting, something that's going to pull in your passions and your enthusiasms. And so you're looking out at what's out there. And maybe you're thinking about how it impacts your life and the people that you love. And how if you pursue this route, maybe you really improve your situation. Maybe you risk your situation. But it's a card of manifesting, of, of creating the change, of, of doing something, moving you forward. So with this movement and the energy that it takes to create and to manifest and to build and to meet obligations or to fulfill expectations. Here's temperance, major arcana, saying don't forget to be in balance. Don't forget to take care of yourself, to not overdo it, to not do things too extreme. You're, you'll do okay if you go down that middle path. You'll be okay if you take care of yourself phys physically as well as spiritually and emotionally. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to the Messages that you receive from, from spirit, from divine source, from your intuition. And so temperance is about, uh, you know, restoring some sense of balance within your life. So it may come as a reminder that this drive and this ambition that's shown with the three of wands may deplete you. So, you know, make sure that you stay in balance. Meditation, yoga, exercise, healthy diet, whatever it is for you to stay in balance while you're, you're creating and while you're thinking about what's next. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. Again, a card of action. This is a Knight who's on a quest, who is seeking adventure, opportunities, excitement. Again, following what you love. This is a card telling you that once you get rested, to, to get out there and to make it happen. Take your personal power. Take your, uh, your desire to improve your life. Your desire to... Um, live a life that's authentic to you, one that's fulfilling, one that's exciting and happy and finding and connecting your passions. This is, you know, get in there, make it happen. And, and this can be, you know, maybe you've been planning it for a while or maybe it's just something, hey, I'm going to take a trip. I'm going to go investigate this. If it's connected to what I want to do, I'm going to go, uh, you know, spur of the moment, go do something. This is moving it along, can do, action, movement forward, your desire and your will and your ambition to keep moving. So you also are fortunate to have the strength card, Major Arcana, here. Because, again, as we navigate exploration, new enterprises, finding balance, it requires energy and thought. And so here's strength. Strength is telling you, regardless of where you are, you may face adversity, you may face obstacles, you may face challenges, and you need to know that you are going to be fine, that you have whatever it takes inside of you to handle it. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, you have um, you have the skill set, you have the big heart, you have the courage to do so. You have the gentle hand that's going to allow you to, to enjoy your successes, but really to draw upon this reserve of strength. Strength is about gentleness and kindness and not forcing people to, to bend to your will. So through taking actions, it's being mindful 
of having a soft touch, of showing kindness and consideration. So, you know, as I look at this, I get a sense here that this balance in terms of perhaps driving yourself in a new direction, you're going to have to really pay attention to that. And you're going to have to just accept that whatever comes your way, whatever obstacles or adversity, that you can handle them. And your ideas that you're standing up for may not always agree with other people or with others that you do respect, but you have to believe in yourself and you have to follow your course. So let's see what we have in terms of Oracle cards for you. This is a meditation point or focus area for the week. Gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. So, having the vision, seeing the big picture, where you want to go, taking care of yourself in terms of temperance, galloping and being ready to gallop through and to these gates. So success is going to be yours. Let's see what we have for spirit or emotional self. Leap of faith. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. So that's a pretty strong message of believing in yourself, believing in your ideas and your vision of what you want to accomplish, and speaking your truth, defending what you want to accomplish and what you want to do and bring into your life. You know, you have one life. You have to live it the way that you know best and the things that you want. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Miracles and blessings. To be mindful for the good things that you have in your life. The blessings count your blessings. It's a wonderful affirmation just to be um, uh, being grateful every day. And maybe as you're driving out loud, saying the things of which you're grateful for and building upon that. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.